What's up YouTube, I'm EVscape and welcome back to another video. We got another 10 hour video coming your way today. What we're going to be doing is bursting dust devils. Now, everyone knows that bursting is the quickest way to get your magic level up, but it costs quite a bit of money. However, dust devils have quite a good drop table and bursting dust devils can actually be quite profitable. So the plan is today to do dust devils for 10 hours in a row we're using full vestment robes and holy sandals and holy wraps we've got a plus 30 prayer bonus which means with the catacombs of karend every time you bury a bone you get one prayer point that stacks with the bone crusher i don't think we're even going to need to use prayer potions because we're on the ancient spell book we're not going to be able to elk anything so we're going to have to run back to the bank and bank it all but we're going to see, number one, how many of these we can kill, and number two, how much XP we can get. And on top of that, number three, figure out how much money we make, how much money we lose, or how much money we break even on. 16,000 chaos, 16,000 death, and 16,000 water runes to start off with. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to restock on these water runes. We'll see what happens halfway through this. I've got the master wand so that I can auto cast ancients because the ancient staff actually has a negative prayer bonus, which is exactly what we don't want. And on the bone crusher, we have 3,814 charges. I'm probably going to have to go fill that back up at some point throughout this video. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to kill more than 381 dust devils every single hour. It's probably going to be closer to 500 dust devils we'll kill every single hour. We'll see how we go. Hopefully, I don't have to refill it, but if we have to, we have to. We're obviously going to be doing this in the catacombs, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. I don't know how the fuck I managed to do this every time, but we're going to be starting this on 3,526,623 magic XP, and I'm really hoping that we get at least a million XP from this. Like, I just, come on, please, at least a million. You guys wouldn't fucking believe it if I told you, but I just died at the dust tables because... Forgot that you have to wear a fucking Slayer helm, don't ya? Yeah. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? Alright, looks like our prayer bonus isn't high enough to not need prayer restores. So, let's jump into the bank. We have exactly 18 super restores. I probably will go restock this at some point throughout the video. But, for now, we'll probably take one super restore per inventory. Is probably going to be enough. So let's go ahead and jump back into it. Alright, so we've got our first inventory here. I'm going to go ahead to the bank now. Not going to pick up dust rooms. We don't want them. But uh, pretty good inventory here. Is there anything else in this pile we want? We want the fire runes as well. As you can see, the fire runes really do stack up. Let's go ahead and get out of here. As you can see, I did almost die as well. I do have a problem with uh, forgetting to turn my prayer back on. But let's get up the rope. Hopefully by the time we get back, no one has taken our spot. That's the goal here. We get back and no one has taken our spot. But let's go ahead and get a quick price check on the inventory here. 142k. Plus all the battle stuffs. We got a dragon dagger as well. Look at that. 300,000 GP in the inventory. And it's been like a little over 30 minutes. In terms of how many runes we've used, let's open this up. We used 1,000 chaos runes and 500 death runes. So that's a profit, guys. That's a profit. We definitely made money there, which is really nice. In terms of how much XP, I forgot what we started on, but uh, who cares? We're getting some great mage XP, and it's completely free. So let's go ahead and chuck all these in the bank. I did already make a tab. Fire runes. Just remember we had 30,000 of them when we started. And red di vams. Perfect. Dragon daggers in there. Rune arrows. Perfect. We have everything we could possibly need in this tab just to keep track of everything that we get. We had 12 ancient shards when we started as well. And 142k cash is now going to become 142 platinum tokens. And let's go ahead and get back in there. This mitre can fuck off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. I was at the bank for three seconds. All right, lads. This is going to be the end of the first hour. Let's go ahead and chuck everything in the bank. Another inventory done. We better turn all of these coins into platinum tokens first. Fantastic, another 60 plat tokens in there. Another 2,255 runes, not too bad at all. A lot of rune daggers, that inventory. That was a really quick inventory. We didn't uh, 
Didn't get as many coins as we did last time, but another dragon dagger to the collection. 534k in the tab, not too bad. And how much magic XP have we gotten? I don't, I, look, I wish I could remember what we started on, but I've got a funny feeling that we didn't get much magic XP whatsoever. I just felt really, really slow and sluggish that hour. I think we gained about 85,000. If so, we can definitely do better than that because that was a it was a rough hour. We can definitely do better than that. We can definitely, definitely do better. Another inventory down. Another absolute fucking boatload of loot. We also managed to get two ancient shards that hour as well. We're going to be stocking up on ancient shards and a good chance we're going to be stocking up on uh, totem pieces as well. So maybe at the end of this video, we'll go do all the Skatizo kills we uh we racked up, but actually let's get a quick brush check on this inventory. 380k inventory and two ancient shards. Absolutely nuts. Do I have any totem pieces in the bank already? I've only got the base, so we can get uh, we can get the rest of them. All right, coming up to the end of hour number two, guys. Let's go ahead and just pick up all the crap off the ground. I don't think there's anything else we need to get. Let's go ahead and jump over to the bank. We're going to do the last price check for the video until the end. God, I'm actually enjoying doing this because I get free magic XP. Well, I mean, I get profitable magic XP and it's quick. Real quick. All right, so let's make these into platinum tokens first. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the tab and do the price check. This Guthix, I mean, ancient mighty can come out of here. But 1.2 million GP in two hours. So 600k GP an hour. And that hour we managed to get... 101,000 magic XP. And once again, I don't even think I was doing that as good as I possibly could have. We could definitely be doing better. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. All right, lads, we're going to call it an inventory here. Pick up these coins. Is there anything else I need? Just a bunch of fucking ungood and thunky kebabs. But we did manage to get a dust battle star that hour, which is a 1 in 4k drop. Pretty incredible, if you ask me. So much loot. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to do the price check at the end of this. All right, lads, coming up to the end of the third hour from Bursting Dust Devils. We're about to call it an inventory, but uh, obviously I'm not going to be giving away how much is in the bank. However, that hour, in terms of XP, we managed to gain 104,000. So we keep getting better and better at how much XP we're gaining, and we're getting a whole bunch of shit in our inventory. My God, I can't wait to show this loot tab at the end. It's going to be juicy all right boys coming up to the end of hour number four let's have a look at the xp oh no this wasn't a good hour we only made ninety thousand experience this hour the dream of 1 million xp during this 10 hours is not looking good however the ultimate dream of making an absolute bank whilst getting some fucking decent magic xp that is looking very much alive and uh we're gonna keep kicking there's a lot of kebabs on the ground Earth Battle stuff. let's go. All right, just about to reach the halfway mark, guys. Hour number five coming up. I don't know how much XP we got that hour. I think it was like 100k or so. Oh, man, I probably should have kept track. But we did hit 87 mage, which is really nice. We're probably going to hit 88 by the end of this. Oh, this loot tab is looking juicy, guys. I fucking love how much loot you get from these. I know it's like the profit isn't that much, but like you just get so much loot in your inventory. It's a fucking beast. Especially when you get the dragon daggers, mate. They're, they're the tough shit right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I just got the dark totem top, but uh, I'm not going to go to the bank because I just found this world and I'm not fucking leaving. So we're going to hold on to this until the time comes in which we must bank, then we'll bank. All right, guys, there are four hours remaining on the clock. We managed to get about 100k XP that hour, so that's nice to get done. We're going to quickly bank here, and I'll quickly show you guys the loot tab. Hopefully it doesn't pop up with how much it's worth, but uh, here it goes. Bang, loot tab. Almost got a thousand rune arrows, which is really nice, but uh, we're getting a lot of battle stars and stuff like that. I'm very excited to price check this at the end and see how much money we made because we definitely, definitely made money. All right, coming up to the end of hour number seven here at the Dust Devils. Uh, three hours to go. Are we going to get a mage level? Yes, we are. We're going to get to 88 mage here for sure. We just got ourselves a dark totem middle. So we just need the top and we're going to make ourselves our second dark totem, which means we can go and... Uh, 
kill Skatezo twice, which is going to be pretty nice. Another nature talisman. Where's Mudkip when you need it? Let me tell you. All right. We just finished off our second Dark Totem. I'm excited to put these kills in at the end. It's probably only going to be two Skatezo kills, but uh, we're definitely going to add them onto the loot because he drops a lot of loot and... It's definitely profit that we made from bursting dust devils, getting these dark totem tops. Well, fuck me sideways with a rubber mallet. It's five minutes past the hour and I haven't even made a bloody clip yet. But we have 67,000 XP to go. Wait, it means we got like, I don't know how much we got, but it was a fuck ton. Let's just say we got an absolute fuck ton of XP that hour. That's good. This is what I want. This is what I want. Are we going to make the two mil? The one mil that I wanted? Probably not. Are we going to get close? Probably. Is it going to be as good as actually getting there? Fuck no. Are we still going to get excited about it? Fuck yeah. All right, guys. One hour left on the clock. We're not going to get 426,000 XP in uh, in one hour. But wait, hang on. Does that mean we're not even going to get... We're going to get like 700,000 XP for this... Mm, this isn't fun. I was hoping to get 1 million. But what are you going to do? We got a whole bunch of HP XP as well. Up to level 90. But uh, I'm excited to have a look at this loot tab. I don't even know how much it's worth. I've not even looked at it yet. So it's going to be as, as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. All right, guys. We are taking it down to the wire with these dust devils. Oh, there's one more over there. Oh, well, it's too late. We're not going to be able to get it in time. Unless we can shoot it with a uh, quick burst. Oh, we snagged it. Let's go. We'll get rid of the timer because we're just going to go until there. these are all dead. All right. Uh, we didn't even end up filling up the inventory. That is hilarious. Um, there's nothing here I want. Let's just take the ruby. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. 10 hours of Dust Devils completed. We made a lot of magic XP. I'm excited to figure out exactly how much. Let's go ahead and transfer this over into Platinum Tokens, however. And let's get the final price check going. All right, before we get into the price check, of course, we have to go over how much money we spent. Didn't spend any money on any gear because none of it is degradable, but we did, however, go through a whole bunch of death runes, chaos runes, and water runes. Halfway through this video, I didn't show up, but I added an extra 12,000 water runes to my rune pouch. Unfortunately, I'm not able to buy all of the runes that we used because the limits are too high. However, I have taken out the amount of money that it would have cost, which is 3,554,508 GP, plus 26 super restores that we used, so... A total cost of 3,792,538 GP is what we used. And on the Bone Crusher, we have 733 charges remaining, which means we used 3,081 charges, meaning we killed 3,081 Dust Devils. Now, in terms of how much loot we managed to get from the 10 hours of Bursting Dust Devils, it's all in my inventory, and it is a metric fuck ton we got 13 ancient shards which is already epic plus two dark totems we're gonna go kill skatizo after this and add this to the loot but let's go ahead and get a price check 1500 rune arrows 100k right there obviously we got the 2.1 mil in platinum tokens 27 black di van braces 47 mystic air stars sorry 41 air battle stars 28 mystic air stars 40 Earth Battle Starves, 28 Mystic Earth Starves, 31 Dragon Daggers, 47 Red Dehyde Vams, 57 Rune Daggers, 92 Addy Bars, 710 Mithril Bars, 34 Ranar Weeds, 2,770 Soul Runes, 1 Dust Battle Staff, which is a 1 in 4k, so we got a little bit lucky on this one, and 80,000 Fire Runes. Anyone that says Fire Runes are not worth picking up, Go do Dust Devils for 10 hours. That's an extra 400,000 GP we've added on there. So, we managed to make 7,076,000, taking away the 3.8 million we spent on supplies. That comes out to a total of 3.2 million GP profit in the 10 hours. 320k profit per hour at the Dust Devils. Now, on top of that, we also managed to get to 4,520,000 experience, which is so depressing. It comes out to a total of 994,000 XP. We were so close to hitting that million mark, but we fell just short. 
99.4k XP per hour plus 320,000 GP per hour profit and it is an absolutely cracking time. I don't know about you guys, but I just love using the burst spells and killing things and getting a bunch of loot. So I had an awesome time. We're going to go ahead and kill Skatizo now and add it onto the loot. Grimy Snapdragons and one Ancient Shard. That's a small amount of Ancient Shards. Ancient Shard. Just one, again. How does this happen? Every time. Anyway, three room play bodies. Not bad. I'm even taking the ashes, mate. Let's get out of here. So there we go, guys. Including the two Dark Totems we got, we add an extra... 268k to the loot what an epic two hours that this has easily been my favorite 10 hour video that we've done so far easily easily by far what i do want to try out now is we got 99,000 experience on average down in the uh catacombs i saw a lot of people down there with alt accounts and the alt accounts would just pick up the elks while the main account just went ahead and attacked all the dust devils so what i'm thinking is I'm going to head down there in full max mage, not max max mage, obviously, you know what, not even, even close to max mage, I'm probably just going to go down in void, but we'll go down there, get a massive damage boost, and then we'll see exactly how much XP we can get in the catacombs, bursting dust devils, if we full sweaty nerd it. Let's go ahead and find out. Alrighty boys, we got ourselves pretty much max mage. Uh, obviously the only improvements we can make here is the ancestral top and bottoms. Everything else is completely max. This is going to be the most damage output we can do and the most damage accuracy. And, uh, I've got my alt account here as well to pick up and alk everything. So let's go ahead and get it started. Now I've gone and done over 30 minutes and we've managed to snag ourselves 61,000 experience. That means 122.8k an hour absolutely incredible scenes there really really good xp rate but the question is how much do we spend 215,000 gp in supplies plus some pretty negligible uh hits on the arms robe top and robe skirt so let's just call it an extra 10k so 225k in supplies and then in loot boys look what we managed to snag holy crap I have no idea how many fire runes, but I think it was around 4k. Look at that. We used 250k in supplies and made 550k. So like, absolutely insane. Having an ult here to pick up your loot is absolutely incredible. I would recommend, however, not using the Staff of the Den and using the Master Wand because you can auto cast Ancients and it just makes things a whole lot easier. In that hour we killed, in that half an hour, sorry, we killed 197 Dust Devils. So, absolutely insane. Crazy XP rates, crazy money. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. I forgot to include the super restores that we used. We used nine super restores. So, an extra 82k. We still made 250k or so. Still incredible. So, there we have it, guys. Day number six of the 10 hour challenges in the books. Dust Devils, such a fucking cracking time. I had a beast time making this video. It's definitely my favorite 10 hours so far. But we've got four more to go in the 10 days. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, make sure you give this video a like. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy.